Good evening, Canada, from a platform of weekly talk show, Voice of Canada, your host, Aspandiyar Wadiwala, and my co charming co-host is Tata Hamdani. And our guest, we have got a very dynamic guest, Venge Kane. Welcome to our show. Will you introduce yourself to our viewers? Sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Venge Kane. I am living in Toronto, Canada. Okay, when do you do women empowerment, yes. right? Yes. So how do you how do you empower women? Um, well, I like to be on the phone with women, of course. Um, usually, when a woman uh, sends a request to me to find out more about me, I like to do like a Zoom meeting with her um, in one session, find out what her pain points are, and then from there, I don't know, it's a gift but my mind is able to come up with a game plan mm -hmm. to help her out of that situation. I had one client, um, her name was Jordan Wentz, and she's a famous actor. Uh -huh. And I don't remember how we ended up you know, becoming so close, but in my first session with her, I was able to tell her exactly what her issues were and how to help her and what she needed. And I've worked with a lot of women um, influencers of all different types and helping them turn my slogan is turn your pain into power wow, oh, that's, wow. that's a very powerful slogan yeah. Yeah. okay when you are also an author of a book yes. unfold of petals yes so would you uh, emphasize what your book the contents of your books are unfold your petals is um a book that has like eight to ten goddesses in it uh-huh and what I do is take those eight goddesses, take their story and relate it to women today. So I use them kind of as a guide to heal women through their situations. For example, um, Aphrodite was in love with a man and he was like handicapped and he wasn't able to fully love her the way she wanted to. And a lot of people find themselves in those situations and they're torn with what to do. Mm -hmm. So inside my book, I give great insights, great meditations, good healing techniques that will help women um, navigate, navigate through the things that we all face in life all the time. Mm -hmm. Or Goddess Hera, you know, her husband, you know, he was into infidelity a lot and a lot of women face that as well. And so inside this book, um, there's a lot of healings on that and opening the doors to trust and forgiveness, not just for him, but for yourself. Lovely. Because healing starts within. And when you heal yourself, you notice so many things around you change. And so, I mean, we've all been through something. And I, you know, embrace those hardships and turn that pain into power. Into power. Lovely. Okay. Lovely. Are awesome. you uh, specialized in certain type of empowerment, certain type of pain? Have you yourself went through painful experiences, experiences. Uh, did you get any training so it just yes. if we can you know dig a little bit deeper here okay so i am a certified uh coach i went to edler coaching academy in 2018 i'm certified through um the coaching academy um from there i decided what type of coach i wanted to be mm -hmm. because in the world of coaching you just have to know the foundation of how to help the person. The basic foundation. So yeah. once you know the basic foundation, I could have been a financial coach, but you'd be broke, right? <laughs> I'm not the best with financing yeah. per se, but in terms of women's empowerment, that is my thing because yes, I did go through a lot. Um, I was in a relationship for 23 years mm -hmm. and I know from my, that man turned me and give me a PhD. Wow. I learned everything I need to know about relationships, and then I took that with my um, my schooling, mm -hmm. um, and I learned a lot from that. We had two kids together, um, separated after 23 years, um, so I know what it takes to stay in a relationship and fight, mm -hmm. and I also know from my own personal experience that there's a point where you know a woman feels, okay, I want to stay here because it's my family, but there's also that point where you need to forgive yourself and accept yourself right. for not wanting to mm -hmm. because you know you've reached your limit or you know something's going on that's just really 
making you feel degraded as a woman and you feel True. that you want to respect yourself more, more, there's always, you know, and a lot of women, when they're married, they don't want to leave because leave. they're... They're, they're afraid, you know, children. my kids are going to be mm. sad, you know, all these things. And it, it's always, which I totally respect to, right? But there are some people that do want to, and they just need maybe that push, you know, to give themselves, you know. And to make themselves free from all the anxieties and the, the anxieties, problems the stress, they're facing in their life. The fear. I never tell people what to do with their life, mm. but I listen to what they, they know what they need. They just have to. Right hear it they have to see it they have to feel it feel they have it, to believe it. it staying is right not staying is right it's really what's in here it's individual cases it depends yes. upon the individual person and how far that person is strong enough to also quit that situation yeah it's not easy for every woman i know they need the support to take the step support to take the step yeah. and there are so many things behind it financial and other stability the shelter over your head and many things. One thing I've noticed in my day, and you can probably agree, we all have somebody in our lives who's dating someone or married to someone that we just don't understand mm -hmm. why. But for me, I noticed that you could tell someone to leave someone as much as you want. Mm -hmm. If they're not ready, ready. it will right. never happen. Never happen. True. That person has to feel it in the core. I'm getting out of here. Mm -hmm. Or they have to know internally well, strong that enough to get I want to stay. Right? There's no right or wrong. It's really whatever you can tolerate. And everybody's tolerance level is different because some things that I tolerate, another woman would have been gone 10 years prior. True. You understand? So it's really what makes you feel yeah, it's, good. It's, a, it's an individual thing. Yes. You're too young for 23 years of marriage. Yes. You look I, really young. Thank so you. What age yeah. you got married at 16? Yeah. <laughs> I don't no. know. She looks like in her 20s. Yeah. She, <laughs> well, we started dating at 15. Oh, wow. I got pregnant You're at 15. You're in Canada. I got pregnant at 15. Uh-huh. Um, I lived in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Wow. Um, I was three months shy of 17 when I had my daughter. Wow. And I didn't know how I was going to do it, but you I did. Because she's 28 now. She has two daughters wow. of her wow. own, and she's the greatest mom I know. And I am assuming that it's from my influence, because everything we learn is definitely, from our parents, definitely. right? Correct. And I have a son who's 24. Very interesting. Honor roll student, ninety five point five average, wow. scholarship to Penn wow. State. Both of my kids are doing absolutely that you amazing. God bless them. Excellent. Yeah, and I'm very I have been a very devoted mom to the kids and I've sacrificed a lot. I put my own self last a lot and so now is my time. Time to yes. give back to yourself. Yes, and I'm really enjoying that and you know, just taking it one day at a time mm. and seeing what I need and what I don't need and what's good. And I've learned a lot about me. But your experience ever taught you a lot. It has. It really has. When she would form over years, what is your background? Your, I mean, origin. And when you migrated to Canada? Oh, I am black, Italian yeah. and native Indian. Uh -huh. My and grandmother native, is good, good Italian. Things. Yes. Um, my fa I'm from Halifax, but back in the day when slavery was in, uh -huh, my really? family mm -hmm. traveled to Halifax, a place that was once called Africville, that is now being celebrated every year because those homes were, were torn down and taken from the people who lived there. Uh -huh. um, and so my grandmother, mother, and my grandmother were one of those people who lived there. Oh, wow. I grew up in this place. Um, I grew up in Margaret Park, which was the projects. Um, people there didn't have much money. Um, and that's what led me here. I decided one day that uh, I just wanted more. I didn't want to be one of those people that just didn't have more. And I, I felt like the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. And I put my kids in a car, uh, drove here with like a couple thousand dollars. Uh, got a hotel, found a job, somehow talked to some woman at a donut diner. And, mm -hmm. you know, she said uh, her husband was renting places. And I got my mom to lend me the money, paid her back, got a job and never looked back. Lovely, lovely. That was your bold step you took. Yeah, I just drove in a 1980 line Cadillac and I kept saying, I hope you make beautiful, it, Betty. Beautiful. You're a strong lady. <laughs> I hope really. you make it. Yeah. I hope strong you lady. take me there. <laughs> really. Well, yeah. from your bio, you have a magazine as well. Yes. So what is the magazine? 
Um, my magazine is really about empowering, empowering women. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of issues on fashion, um, empowerment. Uh, I recently um, incorporated a section for men because I was getting a lot of messages from men saying, I really like your articles. Uh -huh but I would like something for men. Men also. And mm -hmm. so I started giving men tips on things that I feel that they would need. Need. Definitely. For example, to, today's post was all about how to love an Aries mm -hmm. because we're in Aries month, right? Mm -hmm. And then I give tips on shopping to the gentleman. Shopping, very good. I give tips on, Grooming. you know. Yeah, and quotes to empower them because I know, you know, when it comes to just like us women, they put in so much time in the family with the kids, mm -hmm. you know, they don't always have that time to really feel empowered. And so my page is really about empowering people um, to feel loved, to feel invited on the page, to, you know, um, still trying to figure out a few things that, you know, could make it a little bit better in terms of, you um, the structure of sending, do I want to send it every day? Right now I've been sending six days a week. Do I want to make my post longer, do mm -hmm. two days a week? I'm still seeing what the views are and, and everything, what's happening and with that. And it's a monthly magazine? Uh, no, it comes out every three months. Every three months. So January, April, wow. that type of Is structure. Is it paper magazine or it's online? It's online or on paper print? Um, well, when they come out every three months, they are an, an actual magazine. Actual magazine form. Yeah, subscribers and it is do on get online them online. Also, then yes, it's Lovely. right on the magazine. It's right on the website, I should say. And anybody that's subscribed, you know, they get discounts because I have affiliate programs with a lot of companies. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of like discounts for men and women that I send directly to my subscribers. So um, and tell, they, our, and tell our viewers your title of your magazine and if they want to subscribe, how they can contact you. Um, VangeMagazine.com. And you can look up Vange Magazine. It should show up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, are you in modeling business by any chance? Um, right now, not per se. Oh, okay. Right now, I'm just doing photo shoots. I have modeled for many different companies. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been doing that for the past 10 years. As I said in my uh, bio, I went to New York City and I did Miss Immigrant Pageant. Wow. So I traveled from Toronto for that. Um, I did uh, Canada's Top Choice with Jen. Canada Top Choice, yeah, Jen. I did um, Canada's Galaxy with, uh, with Cindy. Cindy yeah. um, I've worked with Susie Tamase. I've okay, worked with Susie her also. for 10 years. Oh, wow, wow. Um, I know all of them. All your friends are known to me. Yes. <laughs> How about the fashion? Are you into fashion? Well, you just mentioned that. You give tips to men, for example. I am into fashion. I, like my career started with Numa Modeling Agency, though. Oh, okay. So I'm just, I, I can't explain it, but I just love fashion. Definitely. I, I It's just part of me and who I am because I did modeling for 10 years. 10 years. So all and I've still done. Still you, you can do. I, oh, well, yes, I was doing yes. photo shoots today before That's I came it. here. With that note, we'll be taking a short break and we'll be with you. Welcome short. back after a short break in our weekly talk show, Voice of Canada. Your host, Aspandi R. Wadiwala, my co-host, Gada Madani. And we have got a very dynamic, fashionable guest, Wench Kane. Welcome back Hi. after a short break. Hi, guys. Wench, in form of viewers, we read that you are also a very spiritual lady in, in spite of being a fashion model. Yes. So you believe greatly in universe and God. So can you tell our viewers what your main conceptions about universe and the God is? Um, I am a meditation guru. Mm -hmm. um, that was my specialty um, as a woman's empowerment coach. Um, I believe that everything can be manifest through thoughts and vibrations. So I spend a lot of time uplifting my vibration mm -hmm. um, because we all deal with a lot of negativity, right? So the only way to, in my opinion, is to bypass that mm -hmm. is to tap into your own inner love because we're all born either. There's two sides. There's a negative mm -hmm. and positive. And there's the, neg and the positive. So if you're on the negative side, 
you got to do a little inner work to get back to the positive. You're a little off balance, right? So I'm constantly seeking for my my positive. Positivity. Go ahead. Yes. Okay, while you're, we're talking about positivity and we have, the life is becoming very difficult and the expenses are very high. So, and while we're uh, actually targeting women to empower them. So what, what can you tell them, you know, it's like how can they meet their expenses, you know, there are... And how to survive yeah. with in such difficult hard times, what all are facing yes. all over the world, not only here in Canada. Yeah. I'm not sure about that one because I'm not really the best with the financing statistics stuff. and all that stuff. To be honest, um, for me, you can discuss the general aspects day -day. like the day to day. The groceries are getting very expensive. The gas has gone very high. Today, the gas has crossed the level of 180. I know, it's 1. ridiculous. 80. So it's ridiculous. Yeah. So, how to survive? Because the incomes they don't rise, people have got fixed income. Maximum Canadians, they are the working class. Mm -hmm. So these are the problems being faced, shortage of labor, shortage of goods, you know. I was hoping you would tell me how to um, live. Then, then we'll, put it in, we'll put it in, definitely Actually, we'll we put it in. to all go back to our government, you know, both levels. <laughs> they have to tell us how to manage. You know? Actually, they are responsible uh, to, mm -hmm. uh, to a certain yeah. degree. And <laughs> the question is to our government, federally and provincially, so how can we manage our life with all the price hikes and expenses? So people are suffering. So they have to do something. They right. have to do something. The government should come up. Yeah. They are the main people to help and support the people yes. over here. Okay, when should tell us about your day-to-day -day life, how you spend your start your day. And when you do woman empowerment, you take in a class form or one-on-one -on -one basis? Um, well, my calendar is always open for women who look to book an appointment mm -hmm. um every day i get up and i check my schedule so if i actually have something to do i don't book you know i don't leave that space you open. Do online or in person online online okay. i do zoom meetings um and then from there we just get to know each other i find out what their their pain points are what they need why they're seeking my guidance what they wish to get mm -hmm. out of it and then I come up with an action plan to, you know, uh, help them live that fulfilling, happy life. Um, and that is in alignment with them that makes them happy. And yeah, and as far as my day-to-day -day life, I always start my morning with coffee, meditation, mm -hmm. and a phone call from my daughter. From your daughter. Wow, wow. That's very good. <laughs> Every very day. Very loving. Very really loving. She I called me say. just before I walked in. Uh -huh. So if I'm... I live in Toronto, but I'm in Niagara Falls a lot because I clearly love my grandkids and mm -hmm. my children still live in Niagara Staying Falls. there, yeah. Lovely. And so I go there a lot. And if it's I'm not, not there... It's not far off. It's one hour and 10, 15 minutes drive. Yeah, if know? I'm not here, then I'm at my daughter's because daughter's, mm. if I'm gone 24 hours, it's when are you coming back? Then you're in Niagara. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any hobbies while you have, you know... I love to cook. Thing. Wow, I wow. love to clean. Because my background also was interior design. Interior oh, design. Okay. So beautiful, beautiful. I love to decorate. It's something that like just three days ago, I rearranged my whole house. It looks absolutely amazing. Oh, so nice. I love to interior design. I love to cook. I like to clean. I love to dance. And I love music. Wow. I'm the typical Leo. Leo. I'm a wow. Leo. And they're very, I'm very creative. Um, my magazine like fuels my fire to deliver, you know, goodness to people and I'm a perfectionist with it. Lovely. I really am. I'm very I'm very creative. Um that's the best way I could describe and what, myself. What the kind of cooking you do? Everything. You do all the fusion, the Canadian and everything. I like all foods. I love French food. French desserts mm -hmm. are so good, like because they use a lot of like condensed milk and like oh mm -hmm. my gosh, it's lovely, so good. Lovely. Um, Haitian food, Jamaican food, Jamaican Italian food. food, traditional food. I just eat. That's Are you? Do you exercise a lot? And you do. You, you have, have kept yourself so fit and trim. <laughs> I don't really yeah. what is the exercise. I don't really yeah. exercise, but I do usually eat very healthy. healthy a food. lot of people mm. tell me that I don't eat enough. Like yesterday I had four pieces of pizza and I actually felt guilty. Uh -huh. I'm like, who eats as that much at one time? Mm. You know, 
but like I don't do it often, but I am human. Sometimes, yeah. Definitely. I love Greek I salads. I love fruit salad. Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> so like, no, I literally love food though, but I have to like <laughs> refrain myself because yeah. I could eat myself into oblivious. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you look great anyway. Thank you. Yeah. So, for the next few years, do you have any planning for any events, any employment events? Just maybe so, this year and next year. Do you yeah. have any any event or are you participating sure. in any pageants? Um, I'm or, not sure if I'm doing any pageants. Or women empowerment. I am doing Grace Gallery with uh -huh. Aiden mm -hmm. next month. Next month. His fashion show. Fashion, okay. So, I'm looking forward to that mask it talent mm -hmm. show. Um, Aiden's been a great great friend of mm -hmm. mine for like the past I don't know 10 years wow. and since he's done mask it I've been to everyone <clears throat> I support him in all that he does mm -hmm. and yeah as far as women's empowerment coach I know that there will be a next level I'm not quite sure what it'll be mm -hmm. I woke up yesterday and I said one day I'm gonna run a big huge seminar and it's going to be in new york city new york city yeah it just hit my mind i why don't know not? why why not the sky is the limit mm -hmm. once you decide and you're firm you can go ahead and and then i and your... then i wanted to move to vegas eventually oh wow yeah lovely you've That's got great, great nice. plans yeah huh? we wish you all the best you may be successful thank you so next time we may take your interview via skype from vegas for you, I'll come right here. <laughs> oh, for so you, for you, I'll come right here. Oh, sweet I'll you. be really? right on the plane. You really uh, came to my mind. Just now you reminded me how I contacted you and we were, we knew each other. Past lives. Soul friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the interview went very nice, actually. And the time passed very fast as well. Mm -hmm. So is there any remarks? Any before? final remarks you would like to give to yes. women, to yeah. Canadians, and how to improve your life? Yes. For me, I just follow my heart. If anything in my life makes me feel away, I follow that because that is a sign that something isn't quite right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't know what it is, but you know that it's something. Yes. And so if you don't honor that, you continuously stay in that feeling of wanting more, mm -hmm. right? Or something's in lack. So I would say trust yourself. Never be afraid to trust yourself because nobody knows you better than you. True. Nobody knows. Like we're sitting here today, right now, you could have had the worst morning. Definitely. And unless you tell us, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But you know how you feel how at the end feel? of the day. Definitely. You know what you need. So you got to honor that. It's very important. If you don't, no one else will. So who will know that? Yeah. Yeah. And any message to uh, Canadians? Are you happy with the Canadian way of life and the current policies? No, I'm trying to move to the States eventually. Wow. You're moving. You're leaving us. Eventually, yeah. I find that um, Canada is very expensive. Very expensive. I it's have out of reach. It's becoming major opportunities in the States. And if I don't move there, I'll definitely be there a lot. Mm -hmm. um, pursuing things. It's, I don't know. I feel like. There's a lot of potential in Canada, mm. but they never reach that potential in Canada. Yeah, the market because are very there's not small. much here. Not much here. Yeah, yeah. True, so, very true. yeah, I I plan to do a lot of traveling now that my kids are grown up. <clears throat> um, I wouldn't say they don't need me as much because my daughter kind of does. Mm -hmm. My son's a little bit more independent, which is fine. Uh -huh. But eventually, I want to move to the states. To the states, to I New do, York. Yeah, you're not alone. Lovely. Lovely. Hmm? You're not alone. You want to come too? <laughs> let's get lots a big let's get a big mansion you know, in Beverly of Hills. Are planning to well, move I've out. Been planning. It's on my plan. I'm getting out of here, man. Because yeah. people are getting now fed up soon yeah. after it's the too, pandemic. It's, I find that too it's too expensive, expensive and stuff. And we are yes. paying everything as taxes. Yeah, we I work know. hard. From our nose. And, uh, yeah. Nothing is left at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. This is the situation of many families now. And you won't believe even our food bags are overwhelmed. And they There's can't. a lot of food that I see in the grocery store and I'm like, you'll sit there. 
Yeah. Like who's paying twelve dollars just for juice? Prices, yeah. <laughs> you know, That's the ridiculous. Prices are unaffordable yeah. for It many. don't matter if I'm a millionaire or a trillionaire. Still, it's it's, I still feel it's a waste of money. Mm. Correct. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because my daughter, <clears throat> she by far don't have that much money. So, like, I'm always buying groceries when I'm there. Mm. I'm not. I don't right. go to her house and just eat off her food. And expect her to no, take care of me. Mother, yeah, you, you know, so like I go there, the I buy family. groceries, this and that. Mm. You know, I buy like maybe sometimes a thing, 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, what do you want to have to, for dinner today? And she'll tell me, just say we want to have lasagna or mm. um, Caesar salad and garlic bread. That's True. like $60. Yeah, yeah. It is I'm not even now, joking. If you go to buy breakfast far, items, $100 goes off like yeah. anything. Yeah. You cannot buy the Buying per, per twenty five dollars for yeah. a pack of hamburger, you know, spaghetti sauce eight dollars now. It's become very expensive. The meats have gone juice very high. seven dollars, mm -hmm. cheese twelve dollars. Like it just it really adds up. So, it's high time that something should be done to control the prices. Plus, of a big stores they are charging very heavily things, because look at the profits. Just look how it was at COVID time. Yeah. Like I tried to buy a house at COVID time and. I got a bid. I had a certain budget that I was able to, manage. you know, manage. And every single time I walked in, I got a bid by one hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. You know, and I'm like, geez, you know. So, or there was this one host I I went to see, and I brought, you know, a friend of mine with me who does all kinds of things for hosts. And I was like, okay, this host is a three bedroom, but. I'd like to turn it into a two bedroom because I feel like this extra room is useless, useless and I, yeah. I have this this whole layout that I want for this house. Mm -hmm. So I walk in, I look at the house, I'm ready to purchase it, whatever. And the moment I run out to the car to get the measure and tape so that he can check and see if, you know, the vision I want for this house can be done, mm -hmm. the real estate agent says, sorry, it's sold for uh, oh, wow. $250,000 more. But that was every host I went to. Uh -huh. So after 17 times, I'm like, okay, God, you really don't want me to have a host right now. Because I, I feel like he didn't want me locked into that because he saw right. something for my future that I didn't see. That's like true. at the time, I would have been locked into a home. But I don't feel like that's but where I was supposed the, to be. You, currently, the supply is not there, but the demand is very high. Yeah. The problem, problem is this, and that's why the prices are hiking for but housing But the thing market. is not worth it. It's not, worth it. it's not worth it. It's not worth it. What you're buying. You what you're buying is not worth. Above the, above and at the, the same ground. time, the mortgage, the mortgage interest rates are very high. That All is right. also yeah. not suitable to what the monthly red, uh, mortgage you <coughs> should be paying. Though they have extended now recently to 30 years. Mm -hmm. But that's, yeah. a, that's a big burden on the people who take the 30-year mortgage. Well, my best then, friend bought a house. Here's an example. So... He bought the house for seven eighty or something like that. Mm -hmm. His mortgage is twenty three hundred a month mm. um, because of whatever's going on with the, the interest market interest rated. rates and all that stuff. His mortgage is now five thousand six hundred. See, so that is totally. And I don't double. think he's going to be living there long because lots of people have given up. You know, they are selling just the living a normal yeah. job mm. every day. You know, his wife works uh, as a hairdresser and he has a normal job, but like. But to pay oh. double the amount. Okay, every just month. think about two people make twenty four hundred dollars a month. That's five thousand. Mm. What do you have left? Then what do you have to left? That's true for everything. So with that so, note, yeah. a strong remark from our guest, Wench Kane. We would be ending our show and signing off from this evening's episode. So we'll be seeing you next week back again on Voice of Canada. My your host Aspandiya Wadiwala, my co-host Kada Madani, and. We would like to say goodbye and thank you to Wage Kane for coming thank all the way so from much. Toronto. Thank you so much. Thank you for having and me. And recording our interview. So with that note, we would say goodnight, goodbye. God bless Bye -bye. Canada. Adios. Bye.